Hey guys, uh, welcome to Let's Play Gothic! So, uh, in the last episode we started uh, Chapter 3. So, uh, this is gonna be the official Chapter 3 episode. And uh, the reason why you see me in the old camp is because um, I was on the way to the new camp. But I remembered that the, the merchants might have new weapons and uh, I may be able to finally speak with more dragon stuff. And I kind of remember that Fisk at the moment might have a slightly better weapon that I can buy. And by the way, you can technically beat the shit out of him to get the weapon, but um... It's gonna be a one-handed broadsword, this one. It's kind of expensive, but uh, I'm fine with that. So uh, I'm gonna just give him everything that I don't need yet. Like a bunch of sticks and stones and stuff like that. And, uh, oh yeah, that bow. I don't need it. Totally. It can totally use, uh, like, my, most of my bolts. Oh, I'll keep a couple of arrows, though. Like, 20 should do it. Uh, I don't need the light rogues as dress, definitely, so you can take that as well. Um... That's pretty much useless, but I'm gonna keep it for now. Uh, I don't need dexterity rings, so you can take that as well. And uh, fire and arrows. I'm gonna keep both for now. And I forgot to read this book, by the way, so um, just give me a moment. You bear in focus map and the map to the old mine. I should probably get a better map at some point for you guys, but eh. And I still have mine crawler's eggs. Oh, by the way, so I figured out that Corkulum does give you stuff for the mandibles. So I'm gonna have to do that as well when I come back. Um, and don't sell any, we any weed or herbs that you might guys have. Because we might need it, actually. I'm gonna keep one of each, except maybe the pipe and the hammer. Actually, no, do I need the hammer? Oh, I probably do. I Oh, I can make a bunch of swords. I definitely don't need weed or that. I, I leave the loot and uh, I can sell the amphora, lurker skin, definitely, the claws. You can take tumblers, plates. Molerite grease, not sure if I need to use it for anything, but um, you can take all of my weed and everything. And he has ore, so I'm gonna take that from him. And, oh yeah, those are the books I sold him. <laughs> to educate the people, the populace. Okay, so I just need a bit more ore to give to him. Down to 52, was it? 53, fine by me, you can take it. You can take one or <laughs> Okay, thanks. Now I have a better weapon. There you go. Uh, I do know that in the new camp they're selling um, a hammer, but it's about three points of damage lower than this sword. So I'm gonna have the sword. And uh, I do want to visit the fire mages because apparently there's a potion of of swiftness or rather speed potion that uh, endures one minute more which is what I do want to buy and a bunch of uh, spell scrolls as well because I can start dabbling in magic that way and uh, I'm not sure if I should spend my skill points just yet until I actually necessarily need it oh and by the way so I found out exactly how you get better mercenaries armor so I should be able to get medium armor right now in chap because it's chapter 3 and the heavy armor you can only get it in chapter 4 but it might be useless for me because uh, I'll become a mage in uh, chapter 4 I believe or this chapter I don't actually know Wow, something is bugging out over there. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yes, I want magic writings. Up, oh. ah, that, that. Magic writings. He has circles of magic books. Ah, this is the potion I wanted. And also, it costs literally the same for some reason. So I might as well get all of them because I'll be super slow. And he has a bunch of scrolls, like transformation scrolls, uh, which you can alternatively 
get and travel the colony that way, just beware of any people you meet. To be honest, the best one is transforming into a blood fly, because blood flies are really quickly. So I might... I might invest a bit into that. I'll get five at least, maybe. And, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I can give him the sword, I don't need it. And, uh, what scrolls I had... Oh, right, uh, I can give him the stuff as well. Um, so I had... Uh, do, do, I skipped the scrolls, there we go. I have this one. Oh, it's sleep. You don't really need it as much anymore, to be honest, than light. It's better to use the rune, I guess, rather than the scroll. Yeah, he can take this. I can probably use a torch too. Ooh, I have a bunch of uh, fireball and fire bolts. It has a bunch of healing. It has way too many light scrolls. Rain of fire is pretty cool, but um, it sucks if you have friendly uh, people around you. So uh, <laughs> careful with that. Um, and he has fireball. I'm not sure about those yet. And he has Storm of Fire, which I can't use because I don't have any Circle of Magic. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give him most of uh, these that I have. And I should go make swords off camera, <laughs> actually. I still don't know if I need the damn Lurker's Claws. I'm still gonna keep it, just in case. Right, or Right. So he wants uh, 1,700. Jesus, you're doing quite a hard bargain there and now we're gonna go to the new camp with one of those potions actually let me just get out of here and like actually use it you know outside the gate <laughs> I don't know why but I just want to do it this way and we're gonna go and get the uh, better armor because I'm really really peeved by how strong the orcs might be like better weapon already will make it will make the fighting a lot easier, but armor, yeah, definitely need better armor. Considering that orcs actually, you know, have swords and stuff. Well, not swords. They have um, their own weird version of the weapons. Oh wait. Oh well, whatever. Yeah, you know what? Whatever. I kind of skipped the uh, the gates, so uh, yeah. Gotta use this potion. Ay ay ay. I broke my promise already. So yeah, um, we should be able to report to Mordrag, get some XP for that, and uh, see what kind of magic the water mages have, and then get the better armor from Lee. And that's about it. Really. The best thing I can do is prep- Oh, and uh, on the way back to uh, the swamp camp, get the potions from Korkalam. You know, because I'm not really sure what else I can use those mandibles for. Or, actually it depends on how expensive the potion is. I can check with the water mages, because I checked which potions uh, Korkalam gives me. And then I'll check the cost of the mandibles and see if it's actually worth it. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'll do it this way. Because uh, if it's not really that worth it, then, um, then what's the point then? So yeah, um... And I'm gonna probably use the Bloodfly Transformation Scroll on the way to the Swamp Camp because it's the furthest. And also I can avoid uh, people or other targets that way. <laughs> you know, because Bloodflies they don't even swim, they just float on top of water. So it's gonna be easier for me to travel. Also I'll be so quick that these guys will, you know, probably not aggro as much. And also, it's also gonna be nice for you guys to see, you know, um, how does it look like to transform into a monster. Because I actually love those transformation scrolls. But uh, I kinda like more the summoning stuff. I like to summon golems or demons in this game. And I like them to do my bidding. Which is exactly what I want to happen <laughs> when I'll be a mage in this game. I'll be the one who uh, makes everyone else do my dirty work. Yeah, so the potion hasn't wore off yet, and I'm already at the new camp. Oh, uh, now it did. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll just walk the rest of the way, it's not that terrible. Maybe I'll get acrobatics, actually, but uh, I don't know. 
I'm not sure if it's quite as worth it. I mean, you do have interesting jumping abilities, but like... Is it actually faster? I'm not quite sure. I'm not listening to all I noticed that when I do this jump, however, it's really quickly when you're going up the hill. But not as much when you go down the hill. But yeah, we're almost there. D -d 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 more drag! I'm coming to you. Swimming, hopefully not drowning. People always talk. Hey, bouncer! What's up? Are you bouncing much? On your foot? <laughs> no, that was a bad pun. But, uh, more drag. Talk to me. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. About that sect business. What? The great invocation has taken place. No. You mean you took part in their folly? I'm curious about the result. Me too. Let me know when the gurus have finished making complete fools of themselves. Ah, so basically after I visit the... Mm, the... Uh, the orc temple. Show me your goods. Choose something. Or whatever temple. Uh, I don't think it has anything new. Uh, nah. <laughs> Uh, oh, by the way, I better not forget, but, um, either Shrike or Wolf sells a lot of lockpicks, so I need to get that as well, because I don't want to run out of them if I find a bunch of chests, or if I decide to go on a stealing spree at the, at the, um, uh, at the old camp. I'm not gonna steal from my own guys, what am I? Some weirdo, I guess. Hey, Kronos! Uh, stop! Stop walking! I want to talk to you. Oh, there you go. Lovely. Hello. I. <laughs> oh, I forgot to read the book. I oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, words of Gods. Yeah, you have the same stuff. You don't sell anything about combat, do you? Oh, shrink bonus. That's a lot. Also, greater life. Oh, but that costs a. L Actually, that doesn't cost as much as I thought it did. Huh? Interesting. Ooh, and he has, uh... Ooh, mana and life bonuses. Okay, okay, I need to... I, I need to relax. I need to relax. <laughs> okay, relax. Relax. <laughs> I can buy them later. But yeah, he has a bunch of scrolls. He has chain lightning, firebolt, healing, ice block. Uh, actually, ice block is usually my favorite one. As well as wave of ice. So I'm gonna get a bunch of these just in case. Actually, I'm gonna get all of them. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna get two Wave of Ice, just in case. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll def- because Ice Block allows you, to, you know, to sort of like immobilize your enemies so that they don't kill you, pretty much. Okay, so Mandible is five. And uh, the potion that Korgolam gives you is this one, Elixir of Magic Energy, which costs 70. And I assume I give him all of my mandibles. So it's like... So if each potion costs 70... Oh, so it is advantageous, I guess. Yeah, okay, so it is advantageous to give uh, Korgolom the mandibles and get those potions. Cool, cool. Okay, then, um... Kronos, there's, uh, your, uh... Ore. One moment. I forgot how you, uh, do intense. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> Gotta do it this way then. There you go. There you go, thank you. May I pass nope. through? Well, actually now you can, but uh, yeah, no, before you couldn't. So, uh, how much ore do I have? Okay, that should be enough to get my mercenary armor, so let's do that right now before I go bankrupt. <laughs> yeah, no. Also, I'm aware that you can beat up people for weapons, or like you can beat up Fisk and just, just take everything he sells, but um, I don't want to do that. I don't know, it's just I don't want men to be that kind of a, you know, idiot. <laughs> or rather, not an idiot, but you know, I need better an ass. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, Mercenary's Armor gives me at least 10, per uh, 10 more protection. I'd like to have the medium armor. Oh god, that's terrible. This armor camera. is a good piece of work. It'll protect your body well. Yeah, that's what everyone says. <laughs> that's that's the kind of sales pitch everyone gives. And now I'm almost poor, but I can just sell my light mercenary's armor. 
And yes, now I look like a decent mercenary at least, finally. I don't look like a... I'm sorry, a hobo. <laughs> uh, okay, so wolf, right, wolf. And get lockpicks. Wolf and lockpicks, got it, got it. Wolf! Ah, oh, there you are. My lovely, my lovely man. And I guess I can get acrobatics. Oh, and I can get a um, person you skins. Um. But no. The blood flies. Should I get it? It's probably late. I probably killed all of blood flies by now. But uh, there's like a book or uh, something else that teaches you how to take blood flies as uh, stings. And it like recovers your health completely when you eat it or something. But um, nah. Yeah, I think I'll pass. Okay, he doesn't have any better weapons. Just checking. And I guess I mistook the you for someone else because uh, I swear. Okay, probably Shrike uh, sells better stuff. Okay, never mind. I'm not selling you my armor. Get out. Shrike was somewhere on top. Oh, Jesus. Are you gonna do this now, literally? Oh, come on! <laughs> Finally, you decided to climb up. <laughs> oh, wait, Buster. Do you have anything? What do you mean, how can you help me? I can show you how to control your body. Oh, you're the guy who does acrobatics. You know what? Sure, why not? As soon as you've gained control of your body, you'll be able to jump much further. You learn how to roll off and what's the best way to land when falling. But don't forget, you're not immortal. Acrobatics can also be very useful during battle. You'll be able to change the distance between you and your foe very quickly. Good luck! Oh, maybe there is a point to it. But yeah, watch. <laughs> this is my new running, uh, running animation. Hey, Sharky. <laughs> I need a few. Okay, good. Oh, good. I came to you for. A... Hmm. Thank God I came to you. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm being very weird. Uh, okay, I'm pretty sure I don't need this many torches. No, 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 no. I need. Like this many torches. Just in case. Just in case. Now, give me. Not all of your lockpicks, maybe. Okay, fine. There! This much. That should be fine, isn't it? Now I won't have to worry about a thing. Bye! Now, I'm curious, does acrobatics affect the way I battle? Hold on. So... Ah, oh, I feel... Hmm. Oh! Okay, so I can now do full movements, I guess. Because before he just stepped once. To the side, right? Yeah, he did! Oh, okay. Alright, okay, I got it, I got it. Uh, actually, I wanna test. Will I be immortal if I jump? Okay, I am. <laughs> I guess I can survive because of acrobatics now. Alright, so uh, let me just get a certain distance away from these guys. And, uh... And transform into a blood fly. I'm actually gonna go this way, and we're gonna quickly travel to a uh, uh, to the swamp camp. Okay, this should be fine. Cool. Uh, let me just make a save on my temporary and uh, put to, to oh yeah right the book. Okay, first of all the book. Oh, it's called um, Battle of Varant, Volume One. But Robar, the strategist, those to uh, wait. Oh, chose to attack. I'm sorry. But Robar, the strategist, chose to attack. He assembled his troops and had them storm the enemy's weak, ri weak right flank. He did not waste his time on long skirmishes, but thrust into the enemy, into the enemy army like a sword, and cut down the, the defenses as though they were made of paper. Gosh, I can't read today. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Anyway, on, uh, on, and, wait, on, that's a weird sentence. On, and he drove his troops, advancing on the borders of Varant. 
He knew that to win this fight, he would have to disperse the enemy army and prevent Galon and Lucar uniting and dealing him a crushing blow. He would have to sever their supply lines to secure the victory. Galon was dead, his army beaten, his leaderless troops on the run, but Robar was not willing to give the enemy a chance to regroup and commanded his army to destroy the remainder of the enemy forces. Meanwhile, Lukor took advantage of the moment and struck a decisive blow at King Robar's exhausted troops. Oh, so it was a book about nothing much. <laughs> anyway, so we read the book, but uh, I don't think we got any stat boosts because of it. So yeah. Oh! God damn it. <laughs> I'm short of mana. Fair. <laughs> How much mana do I have? How much? Wow, I only have five mana. I'm weak. Okay, fine. I'll go get some mana then. <laughs> I mean, might as well start using those points, hey. <laughs> Sorry for wasting everyone's time and reading and getting mana. I guess this episode is almost pretty much about me getting shit done. <laughs> getting armor, getting weapons, getting scrolls that I can't use apparently. Yeah, hmm, okay then. Let's get let's level up my mana then. Kronos man is gonna come meet you again. I hope you'll be able to like help me and stuff. <laughs> this is so funny the way I run now. <laughs> this is my new favorite animation. <laughs> It just jumps like a tiger, <laughs> pouncing on someone. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> oh gosh, I love this. I really love this. Best thing to happen in this game ever. <laughs> in this Let's Play too, by the way. Okay, Kronos, stop right there. Hello. Hi. How are you today? I need more. I yeah, I need magic. Blah. Okay, so I should have ten. 15, 20, how much do I have now? I had 50, right? I have 26. For the magic scro scrolls, I skipped them. Oh, the mana cost varies, but mo the maximum seems to be 10. You know Mate, what, let's hello. level up again. I, I can yeah, I need it, blah blah. Yeah, that should be fine now. I, I should have about uh, doo -doo. 16. That's enough. Thank you, Kronos, and I'll be on my way. I been up ages ago. And I should probably sleep, considering uh, my mana did, did not regenerate. <laughs> Along with his teachings. So yeah, uh, or I can eat some herbs that I'm pretty sure are not needed for any quests. Where are they? Oh, no, there they are. Weird. Life bonus, life, 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 mana, raven herbs, right, I got a bunch of you guys. I think that should be enough to get me to transform. First of all, and I'm gonna save because I'm peeved when I do this. Yeah, you survived, great job, man. Invincibility, because of, of acrobatics. <laughs> By the way, I want to show you something interesting before um, we become a bloodfly. No problem. There's no problem. You see how they react differently now. In the in the old camp, it's kind of a similar reaction too, because uh, when I was um, off camera, when I was checking if there's monsters between the camps, uh, I was I had an unsheathed bow. And um, and uh, I was passing by Cavalorn, and he had the same reaction. No problem at all. So uh, you map out the spell scrolls on uh, well automatically uh, from four till nine, or rather ten. Ten being zero, that is, I believe. So and what you do is you hold left mouse button, and then you uh, hold the up button. And voila! Now I'm a blood fly. Aren't I badass? And look, I float on top of water. 
Uh, one thing, however, is that I better not meet any scavengers. Ooh, so there's black goblins, there's uh, lurkers, and lizards. Good to know what kind of creatures like to hang around here. But yeah, scavengers, our enemies. Oh, there's one blood fly, I guess, that spawned. But yeah, um, now I should be able to reach the uh, swamp camp quickly, but I'll probably sleep before, you know, doing anything with it. Oh, okay, I should come back here later. Right, swamp camp. So yeah. And I'm traveling super quickly because I'm a bloodfly. They're so, so fast. It's like crazy. And also, bloodflies don't take full damage, so that's another thing why I love being a bloodfly. But you can't jump at all. <laughs> you just fly through everything. Uh, but you know what? That's not such a bad downside, to be honest. So, uh, yeah. So we're just gonna pretty much fly through everything and everyone. <laughs> uh, okay, so... And I might as well maybe actually... Actually, nah, nah. And by the way, most monsters this time didn't spawn, if you noticed, um, on our pathways. Probably in the forest some did. I don't know. Ah, uh, scavengers. Yep, they spawned, alright. Just not the ones that were in the path. I'm kind of curious as, uh, if black blo goblins respawned in the cave, but maybe some other time, I'll check it out. Maybe closer to the end of the game or something. So yeah. I gotta be careful around here because I uh, might meet some unfriendly gurus. <laughs> or rather, you remember the ones who um, go to the old camp? Or rather, the old mine? For the mandibles? Yeah, they're still doing it, apparently. Okay. Ooh, mole rats, okay. I should, on, on my way back, kill them. Right. And you just press enter if you want to become a human again. And yes, my mana is down to 10, which is not super bad. Now, I'm kind of wondering, is Quarkalom still up there? Or did he went back to his um hut? No, he's here. Oh, no, 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 he did go back. All right, all right, okay, cool, cool. Not a problem. I'll just go to his hut, it's not that far. And then I'll need um, a place to sleep real quickly. I mean, uh, very quickly. Right, oh. Oh, and I should get my rations of swamp wheat from that guy, because I can just sell it back to someone else. <laughs> It's not much money, but it's something to recover, you know, what I've lost. Uh, where's Korkalam? Hey! Where is Korkalam? What? He's not here! Was I wrong then? Was he actually down there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Please don't die. Okay, Quark Alarm. Apparently I'm a lunatic because... No, he isn't there. What the hell? <laughs> Where did he go? Ah, oh, don't tell me. He disappeared. Where to? Yeah, no, your Barian just fell asleep again, but like... What? Oh man, I guess... Dang it. I guess I should have done that in the beginning. Oh well, I guess I'll just sell the mandibles to someone else. I think. Uh, and uh, I know why maybe he disappeared, but I'm not gonna tell you why, where, how, blah blah. Yeah, I'm here to collect my ration. I wanna trade. But I don't think you have any ores, so F off. <laughs> right, now I need to sleep somewhere. Because I am very afraid of um, of how it's gonna go. 
Cool, a secret hut. No one's gonna mind it. I can just sleep here. Hey, you! Get yeah. out! Yeah, yeah, I'm getting out. <laughs> he really didn't like it, huh? Right, so now we gotta go talk to Talos. And he's gonna lead us to um, where the orcs are. Or rather, the temple. Right, so I should probably make a, a full-blown save um, on part one. <laughs> hey, uh, Talos, uh, my good sir. Stop smoking and, you know, talk to me. Like, I already miss Korkalam. I don't have to miss you as well. Kor Angar sent me. He said you should take me to the Orc Cemetery so I can find Val Lakor and his Templars. So I'm the gopher again. Damn. I just should never have lost that almanac. Well then, come with me. Yeah, you... Oh no. Okay, good, good. You have to I, I got very worried there for a second. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so tell us, uh, being a gopher is not so bad. You know, I was a gopher of the mages. So I know definitely how it feels, but like, it's not that bad. You get to do a lot of sightseeing, you know. At least you're not stuck in one place for eternity. Th that should be a good thing, right? I think so, at least. Anyway, so while you're gonna keep going there, I am actually gonna visit that lonely mole rat and kill him. Before I forget. Because to be honest, the, the cave is pretty darn forgettable. Come on, Talos. Hurry up your little tiny thin legs. Oh, that leveled up. Interesting. And uh, I was really messy with this. Anyway, okay, Talos, I'm done. We can co come continuing. Oh, there they are. Well, not Cor Corcolan, but these guys. <laughs> oh, so I was right. <laughs> They're still traveling. Uh, there's no point to traveling, though. I mean, they don't need mandibles anymore. They already did the invocation of the sleeper. Of the slipper, you know? The one that you wear at home. <laughs> okay, okay. Bad jokes. <laughs> okay. So, I wonder how long you're gonna... You're gonna be keep going until you say something like, Oh, I'm too scared to go there. Because I'm pretty sure you're gonna do that again. Considering, you know, your previous... Your past track record. Also, can... I, I, w I would like to say again. I'm really glad I got better armor. Okay, we're going this way. Alright, I've never been this way. Lead on. Oh, it's the bridge! Okay. Oh, I knew it. I'm not taking you across this bridge. I don't want to commit suicide. I knew it. You must it. be mad to go in there. Even Bao Lukur and his Templars didn't get out again. We'll see what happens. Go back to the camp. I'll be there later. Ugh. Yeah, you're useless. You know what? Useless. Like, ultra mega useless. And I'm saving, like... A lot, because I don't know how it's gonna go from here. <laughs> That's one thing I'm a little bit freaked out by, is what should I expect? I mean, I do know what creatures to expect, I just don't know how I'll fare against them. Because they're new. Like these guys are, they're called biters. I should be fine against them, but we'll see. We'll see about that. Okay, so they kind of like be behave like snappers, I think. Yeah. I can take them one by one, probably. I don't know if I'll be- Oh my gosh, there's an orc. No, 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 I don't need the orc to come over here. Shit! <laughs> I don't need the orc to come over here. Oh no, he wants to attack me! Oh no, is that a glitch? Well, I'm fucked. <laughs> I mean, I'm effed. Yeah, mm, I'm effed. <sighs> ah! 
Well, okay, I can take him on. Ugh. Are you gonna come closer? Okay, I wanna hit you. Uh, that's something. Okay, and I can take the orc now. Okay. I need to interrupt his attacks, though, <laughs> more. <laughs> okay, I was terrified. Now I should be very fine. Cool. Hey, you! Come over here. Come over here. I know you're not an idiot. But you're really slow. You know what? Forget it. You're really slow. <laughs> really slow okay I don't want to stay close to yeah I seen another orc so like I'm very freaked out I should be fighting against at least these ones they're scouts I'm afraid more of the warriors and the shamans <laughs> ah you've seen me you've seen my beautiful face I knew you couldn't resist it Oh! Oh, boy. Okay, good, you're stupid. And by the way, the weapons they use are actually two-handed. I'm pretty sure they're like one of the first two-handed weapons you can find and probably use because they require not as much strength. But uh, I'm happier with my broadsword, thanks. I have more skill than they do. Actually, actually, no, technically they have more skill just because they hold their two-handed weapons, you know, with one hand. Is there anything here? Okay, there's nothing here at all. Uh, good to know, I guess. Oh, gosh. To be honest, I really hate going into this, this cemetery. Oh, no, there's one more. Okay, let me just back out, save. Okay, now I can go in. Oh. What? Come here! I love you! Well, he loved me, I guess. Ah, we're too late. They're dead. <laughs> But you know what? That's not too terrible. I believe he's the last orc in here. And ay ya ya, we're really late. Green novice, a root soup. And he has the judgment sword, which is not really good for me. Oh boy, <laughs> I'm getting really peeved because, as I said, I hate this place with all my life. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Let me get a couple of meat pieces, because I'm not sure how it's going to go down there. And, uh, okay, let me remap my magic as well. Um, right, I, I want to prepare this and this, just in case. And have this on six. Oh, god, 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 god. Please be okay. Also, this is one of the glitchy places, so um, your game might crash when you try to enter it. Or when you're near here. I, I, I hope it's gonna be alright. Uh. Oh! Never mind, I have to open it, it's closed. I'm an idiot. Right, open it! Okay, now I can uh, subject myself to a dark whore. And yeah, oh, it's creepy. This entire place is just give me the creeps. Right. Okay. A save. Definitely do a big save. And definitely no beware of taking on multiple orcs at once because I'm pretty sure I'll die. Considering I don't kill them in one hit. Uh oh. Yeah, come at me. Oh, he just does a fancy uh, slang thing. Okay, that's a good thing. Well, you're an idiot. I guess I was lucky, because he's an idiot. Okay. 
Right. Be aware of orcs. There's also a, lot, a bunch of loot you can pick up, but first I would like to do that, you know, later, when everyone's dead. Otherwise, I don't feel really... Ah! Someone's down there. Okay, at least these ones don't attack me on sight. Oh, I took his torch. Or, no, my torch. And look, there's a... Uh, whatever the heck you are. Luminese. And there's more dead Templars. Oh, this place, man, it's terrible. <laughs> Terribly built, too. Okay, there's our nether templar with old coins and he has a battle sword. Not sure what to think about it, dude. Oh, okay, there's more orcs. Down that way. And I hear someone dying. Well, he can keep dying, I guess. Okay. Okay. I need to make sure this guy separates from his flock and got, runs towards me. Okay, I'm definitely hearing someone dying. Yep, I'm hearing someone dying really nicely. Uh, okay, no point in picking up the torch yet. And- oh shit, I'm out of time. Let me just finish one more of these guys. Hey, look at me. Look at my beautiful face. Yes, that's right. That's right. I'm quite enticing, aren't I? Or rather, man is very enticing. Man is very beautiful. He's like... The yoke of the gods. <laughs> He took a bunch of hits on me. Dang it! Dang it indeed! Let me just heal up and uh, I'll end the episode right here. Okay, eat up! Eat up, my darling! Okay, and... Uh, this was chapter 3, yeah? Uh, yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, you can save here. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, even though, you know, not much happened. And please ignore those screams of pain you hear in the background. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be just fine. Um, anyway, thank you for watching, guys, and uh, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!